Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. It is Friday, August 2nd. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lisa. And if you are returning, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you taking your, your time to hang out with me when I'm working on my planner and my journals. So if you're new and that sounds like something that you might enjoy, you like that kind of content, I do hope you enjoy the video and I do hope that you'll subscribe. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my um, pages in uh, for next week in my Planner Perfect B6 Slim Bullet Journal. Um, it's been going well this week so far. This is what I had set up for last week, my August Sterling Ink Calendar, um, my August like Brain Dump Inbox, the holidays for the year, YouTube, my social media tracker, my um, order tracker, then my week on two pages. My next two pages are morning thoughts. I don't really share those after the pen. Then I have my tracker, my weekly tracker, and then I have my to buy on this page, which is basically like grocery shopping, anything I need to um, run out and get throughout the week. And then I have my dailies, and at the bottom, I always kind of keep track of what I'm having for lunch and dinner. I'm not really a breakfast eater, so um, yeah. So that's been going well. Let me to uh, change that up. And here's today. And actually, after after I filmed last week, I went in and tipped in this vellum that I printed off from one of my Kellyanne Design um, images. I thought it was super cute with the little sticker down here, which incidentally is from Southern Bell Plans. Um, yeah, and then here is Sunday. And then my last page, if you remember, is um, I, I title it with this little odds and ends sticker. You can put notes or whatever, you know, remember, whatever you want to put. Basically, it's just, um, you know, anything during the week, if I'm watching a podcast or if somebody gets recommended to me, whatever it might be, I'll put that there. So then I have my, um, I did had went ahead and pasted down my week on two pages for this week and my habit tracker. And um, I'm, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and start. The things I pulled for this week's pages are, I pulled out these little, um, these two die cuts, which are going to be for my habit tracker to buy page. And this little like um, header, this like just little clear yellow sticker header, this skinny washi, and then, um, Let's see, I wanted to show you where that's from. That is from this packet that I picked up. Hmm, I apologize, I don't remember where I picked this up. It is a Vicky B-O-U-T-I-N. Um, this may have been from, oh, American Crafts. No, I got this from Michaels. Yeah, I got this from Michaels. Um, I think in their clearance area. It's got all kinds of like, um, stickers and some acetate and some die cuts, all kinds of things. So I just pulled these out of out of there for, um, I'm gonna use on this particular page. This page, I am going to use some stickers from this Happy Planner Homebody sticker pad. And then for my dailies, I am going to use this Mandy Lynn Plans journaling kit. I'm gonna to try to stretch it out so that it will it will work with um, you know the rest of my week, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of this grid washi tape. I, I may add something else in there along the way. We'll see what happens. And I actually did um, cut down this acetate to tip into one of my pages somewhere in there. I thought it would go really well with those pretty flowers. And that acetate, actually the full sheet came from Joanne. So yeah, hope you guys are doing great. Hope you've had a, a good week and all of that. Um, just looking for to paste down some florals for this week. may use some from this page and cover up some of this. I really have to have to um, size. This is a Franklin Covey compact size insert. And I basically just, um, 
I have to you know, size it up too much, like 102% or something. I don't even think I sized this one up, but it's not quite wide enough for the B6 Slim. Um, yeah, so I may actually use some of this grid washi that will go with some of these stickers. Let's see here. What do we have? We can get this out. These are really crammed in there. So that would be a pretty one. And let's see. Hmm. I think this, um, maybe this lighter green would go well. I do have a little darker green, but I think I'm gonna stick with these two and I'm just gonna kind of outline, um, I'm just gonna kind of outline this a little bit along here, maybe blue on the edge and green across the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, size it down. I'm just gonna rip it in half. this I've not done before so this is just going to be a by guess and by golly and whatever doesn't like line up really well I will cover with a sticker so I'm not really worried about that anyway um, when you do a printable and you put it down on a, like a book bound you always have the paper underneath that you have to deal with this washi just FYI this grid washi that I shared during kind of like a little bit of a haul in I don't know if my last video or the video before I don't remember but I like it the colors are beautiful but just FYI, um, it is extraordinarily thin. So just keep that in mind. If you, um, you know, if you ordered it. So now I'm going to do some of the blue. This is going to be actually a lot a longer piece. So this is going to be a little bit more tricky to rip down. I'm trying to make sure I stay in frame. So it's been um, a pretty busy week. And I am, um, oh, you know what I was gonna tell you guys about is I had mentioned in one of my previous videos, we had chatted about um, hormone replacement therapy. And um, I thought maybe I would just kind of update you guys a little bit. I don't have like a massive update on it or anything, but, um, but I would just give you a little bit of an update on what's going on with that. I, the first, um, the first visit I had with this doctor, um, he gave me a script for 90 days, you know, just to see how how I do with it, if it needs to be adjusted, etc. Um, 
I have been kind of doing a little bit of research on HRT side effects. Um, it's very interesting. And let me just say from the, from the outset, I am not a nurse. I am not a doctor. I am not any of those things. I am just a patient who is trying hormone replacement therapy post-menopause. Um, and I don't know how it's going to go for me, quite honestly. Um, I don't believe I am past my window. I am, you know, really following like a few doctors on the topic just so I can just see if this is going to work for me. Um, things it's supposed to um, help with and, um, and so forth. We'll see what happens. Um, so some of the side effects can be oh god there's so many side effects stuff I've read about anxiety depression insomnia but if you're on the right dose it's all supposed to supposed to help with those things so agitation has been like maybe a partial side effect for me a little bit of agitation um so so yeah I'm just taking notes and kind of trying to keep track um see how it goes and if I feel like you know I need to make an adjustment sometimes you can actually change the brand of the um of the hormone replacement that you're that you're using to a different brand, and a lot of times that can alleviate side effects. Um, so, and because I have not had a hysterectomy, I am on the combi patch, which is a mix of estrogen and progesterone. If you have not had a hysterectomy, it's very important for you to have both. Um, and you can, you know, if this is something that you know, you feel like maybe um, you're at a place in your life that you want to consider it, definitely talk to your doctor and they can explain to you why you need both um, in that, you know, in that situation. But, um, and I would say if you go to Menopause Society website, you can look for a doctor that is actually certified through the Menopause Society um, to see if there's one in your area. So that is something that I would very highly recommend. If you can get, if you can find somebody that is um, certified, that um, would be a, a much better idea. So I'm just cutting off the excess of these flowers here, getting them out of the way. Okay, I like that. That is pretty. Um, I do need to cover up this to do because I like to put my own down. So let me grab my little swishes, see if I have any out here that are the right colors for this week. This is close enough. So there's that, and then I will put this one down. So yeah, I did notice in a very short period of time, like week or two, if that, honestly, um, hot flashes, which really I, I didn't have that much of anymore. Um, gone those were gone um and if I had known 10 years ago 15 years ago I'm 55 I have been post-menopause for eight years uh had I known not then what I know now with respect to um the safety of HRT um I absolutely would have done it back then um so if you are younger and you're watching this, if you are um, 
early on even starting your change, perimenopause, go see a hormone, you know, a, a menopause specialist, honestly. Um, it will be worth your time. It will absolutely be worth your time. I'm looking for an important sticker so I can put down there, and I don't know if I have any more. I did order, um, I actually ordered from a new shop, which I will probably share a haul, that little little haul when it comes in. It's just, um, it's basically my tech stickers. I ordered from another company just to try it out. She had a really good sale going on. Um, I will try to remember to leave her link in the description as well. Um, well, shoot, I thought I had one. Um, remember or important or let's see. Hmm. Let's see what I'm. I'm just. I'm looking in my little my little thing here. I wonder. A lot of my stickers came from that I put in there. Came from this productivity. Um, oh, here's a whole bunch. Lisa. I can link this. I bought this on Amazon and it is just like a, um, a really cute, mostly, you know, text stickers. So this week, so I have this important. Awesome. And then I need my numbers because Sunday is the 4th, so we've got, so yeah, um, agitation, um, I've had sleeping problems for a while. Uh, they seem to be worse. Um, I seem to wake up um, just not, I'm just not doing really good with it like I had hoped I would. Now, I think it could be, you know, the, um, again, the dosage is, you know, probably, you know, Part of that, I'm assuming. So I'm hoping to get a little bit of answers. I am putting a call in to a different doctor than who um, prescribed this for me, only because um, this other person is supposed to specialize. The first person was ref I was referred to from my nurse practitioner, no problem. Um, a very nice doctor. He seems to be pretty knowledgeable, but if I can go to somebody that is a specialist, um, then that's, you know, that's probably what I may try now. If I find that the, the first doctor who is much closer to where I live is just as knowledgeable then I could you know I could return to him but we'll see what happens um, and she might not even you know I don't want to do the pellets and I can't even really um, explain to you what the pellets are but yeah I, I'm not interested in those at this point I want to stick with a patch or a cream or whatever, and I'd like to stay away from oral uh, medication. So we'll see what happens. I will let you guys know after my next um, my next trial. Let me see. I think I need my glue stick. And I don't mind talking about that this on this channel because. When you have a YouTube channel, you get analytics, 
and almost everyone who watches my channel is over 30, 30, 35. So I started my change at 39 years old. Um, mildly um, night, um, kind of like night sweats. So I was, you know, again, I was pretty young when I started. So I would not hesitate to, you know, talk to your doctor or get a consultation if you are in your mid thirties or what have you. And it's better to go into that time of your life prepared and knowing what, you know, do your research, do your due diligence. So when it, when it comes time, you're ready. Like, you know, you've learned about it. You've learned about your options, what it's all about. And I will tell you this, there is a YouTube channel called menopause Taylor, very eccentric woman. She's a retired OBGYN. She is also an attorney. Um, very eccentric, very, I mean, so smart, so knowledgeable, so common sense and, and just un unbelievably knowledgeable. I don't even know what other words to use for her, but she has an entire series and she really stresses watching the series on menopause from the beginning. Don't deviate, go in order. And she does it for, you know, a reason. Now, of course, before I knew you were supposed to go in order or any of those things, I have watched like two or three of her videos. Well, what she has is she has, she has her updated book and she has a chart. You do not have to buy her book. Every single video, she has a link for a printable for that week's session. And it kind of goes in order through her book. Well, I'm, I, I'm kind of like, I, I ordered the book because I want to write my notes like right on that page where we're at or whatever. So I've ordered the book and I am going to do the series. Now, this is a massive video series like, oh my gosh, um, 250, 300 videos. I mean, something, it's it very, I thought this was a sticker, you guys, but maybe it's not. Maybe you just have to, um, I don't think it's a sticker. I think it's just like an acetate die cut. So anyway, um, it's a massive series, but once you dive into all things menopause, um, the more I researched, the more I read, the more I listened, I realized that I think doing her series of videos and having her book and her chart is probably the biggest um, gift I could give myself, quite frankly. Um, so I have it on order and I don't know if it'll be here before I go on vacation. I have no idea what her shipping process is um, or anything like that. But um, whenever it gets here, it gets here then I will, I will start the process. Now, if I get it before I go on vacation, we are driving, um, I will bring my iPad, my earbuds, and I will actually start the process um, on the drive um, because I'm that anxious to go through her whole series. Um, yeah, so there's an update with, for that. So I'm just going to, I'm just putting down some, you know, just some cute stickers. I think I may, um, so I've got this die cut that I was going to just kind of, wish it was a sticker, but it's not. So I'm just going to have to make do okay so we're going to lay that down and see if I can successfully 
Let's see something. Let's go a little bit farther. Because I put the glue up a little bit higher. Okay, let's try that. So anyway, yeah, her, again, her channel is Menopause Taylor. Her book is Menopause, Your Management, Your Way. Um, yeah, I think that, um, I just can't wait to get her book. Now, I also follow a few other doctors that specialize in hormone replacement therapy. They specialize in menopause. Um, the same lady that wrote the Galveston diet and Mary Claire Haver. Um, you know, she, she is um, a vast array of knowledge as well. I'm just going to pop this down here, guys. Yeah, she is a, a, a massive amount of knowledge too on the topic, but this video series, I think with this doctor, um, and I, I wanna say her name's Stephanie, Dr. Stephanie Taylor, and the, the YouTube channel is called Menopause Taylor. So anyway, if you were in that, um, if you are in that time of your life, I really do recommend checking it out. Okay, so my morning thoughts went after my two my week on two pages last week, but I I actually put my tracker and my to buy on the next page, which is totally fine. So on this page, I am going to do my morning thoughts. I am going to use my um my Pigma Micron to um this kind of out my make sure I can try to do it a little bit even anyway but um, you guys wouldn't even believe what I did before I started my um, my video I actually had already started um, putting some things down and I don't know what I was thinking quite honestly but um, I skipped a whole bunch of pages and I started putting things down back here. So I had to go, I had to come back. I had to white out stuff because it wasn't gonna line up properly with my next week's pages. And I had to lay down lined paper over these where I screwed up. Oh man, I'm telling you. So anyhow, I had, um, I do believe from everything that I have really learned, watched, listened to, read, you name it, that um, women are at higher risk for disease without hormone replacement therapy than, than they are with it. Um, and when you, when you start to do your own research, you will find the same thing. Um, it's been really uh, eye-opening, I guess you could say. It's been eye-opening. I wish I would have known 10 or 15 years ago what I know now. So if you're older than me and you have a daughter that's in her 30s, encourage her. <laughs> encourage her to um, prepare herself wisely because we have a whole generation of women from um, that has suffered because of the Women's Health Initiative reports that were um, diabolically wrong. And many women went off of their hormone replacement therapy afraid of breast cancer. Uh, there's just so much I am yeah, there is just so, so much to um, look at something here. 
Oh, just so much to learn about it. Okay, so I am gonna do some more stickers here, but first I need to grab my, so we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, guys, I just, man, so um, recommend women to do their own research. Okay, I am going to use these little freebie samplers from Mandy Lynn Plans. I mean, osteoporosis, Alzheimer's, heart disease, so many things you are such a higher risk for if you are not replacing the hormones that you lose via menopause. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing the wealth of knowledge that's now available to women I'm very thankful quite honestly even though I did not learn as early as I would have liked to have learned um, as I wish I would have known I'm thankful that for my daughter who is only 28 at this time she will be educated because when it comes time I'm gonna have this book that I have ordered and I'm going to have it so full of notes and information and a lot of this stuff can also be genetic so all of my information things that I've gone through will be in there for her to use for her own comparison um whoops I have stuff falling over here because I have too many things on my desk um but yeah so anyway that's my little HRT chat for today um, so morning thoughts. So now we're going to go into our daily. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then notes. Okay. So again, I decided to use this journaling kit from Mandy Lynn plans, and I'm going to add to it, um, some of this grid washi, if that works out okay. Let me um, put some things away. I really need to take some more of these off and put them in my, um, my little sticker binder there. They don't all fit, so I just keep them in this little folder that they came in. I drink of water. So I have seen my mother suffer and she is still suffering from a lack of hormones. Um, and I, I'm just, I'm so very saddened. My mother has um, suffered uh, osteoporosis very bad in her back and she's had many back fractures. Um, so I'm just, you know, these are all things that are a result of the lack of estrogen in your body, the loss of estrogen when, when you reach perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause. Um, it's just this massive process that our bodies go through. And I'm, it, it just angers me quite honestly. Um, I think I like that. It angers me. Um, when I think about the quality, some quality of life that she could have had and, and she didn't because of this. Um, yeah, I'm just, um, it, 
bothersome. I don't even know any other way to put it, quite frankly. It's just bothersome. Handy dandy washi cutter from Print Impression. Hopefully, I cut that okay. No, nope, maybe not. bit of washi down here and then we're going to add a little bit of washi here and we're going to pop on that sticker there okay where are my dates stickers on this kit so I'm going to go ahead and use them there we go let's see I'm going to go ahead and put in my um, let's see yeah I'm going to pop this up here kind of fill it in a little bit and I can always come back and add in if I have like leftovers um, so on this one we're gonna go ahead and do this See if I can finagle that in. Okay. And I think I'm just going to pre cut this a little bit. Hopefully, it'll be right. Close, but not perfect. There we go. There's that. And I think I will do this. I really, this is the first time I've used one of her journaling kits. I've had it for a little while. I also have another one that's um, birthday. Um, you know, it's just, it, it's for a birthday de uh, decoration. Which I will say for... Maybe the week of my daughter's birthday, maybe the end of the month. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure that I may save that for journaling pages, actual journaling pages since his birthday, but or I may save it for my birthday next year. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to this up here. I really like this kit. I hope I'm happy when I'm all done with how far it gets me as far as um, through the week. I think it's going to be way more than enough, actually, but we shall see. So this I'm going to put here.
Oh, I had mentioned to you guys too that I became a um, just first level Patreon for Planning with K, K A Y, not Planning with K with just the K. She's actually the bullet journal on YouTube. She has a Patreon. She has fabulous, fabulous, fabulous um, videos. Um, I think she has a monthly kit. A if you're, if you're a certain level of Patreon, you automatically get the stickers um, shipped to you like any other, you know, subscription kit. Otherwise, it's um, printables. And um, I haven't, I, I did the, you know, I downloaded a bunch of things um, into my, fi my file folders um, to, to maybe test out, which I have not had a chance to do that yet. So I hope to um, pretty soon, but honestly, it may not be till September when I to, for me to get a chance to um, to do anything with with those printables. I just I just don't know when I'm when I, I'm, August is just so crazy busy between the wedding and going away that yeah I just don't foresee it happening before September. Okay, that is so cute. Make sure I'm not turning too many pages. Oh, I'm kind of paranoid. So Wednesday, Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, and then we have Sunday and notes. So I think what I'm gonna do for these two days is I'm gonna go ahead and use these two corners and then I'm gonna do probably the grid washi and some of these other things for the last two pages. Okay, that didn't work very good. I'm gonna to have to cut it myself here. save that for the next actually may save that for the next spread and just do one on here that's what I think I'll do um, let's see here Just trying to change it up a little bit, you guys. Um, just trying to change it up, make it fun.
Yeah, so we started today at the gym. Back to that. And um, it's, uh, we didn't overdo it so that we wouldn't be hurting too bad. I am definitely feeling it in my back, honestly, um, which is okay. I mean, if you don't feel any kind of soreness or pain, did I mean, did you get anything out of it? I don't know. That's the, the million dollar question, right? Let's see here. that there and we do need a small floral over here oh you guys I'm really liking this I'm really liking it okay so I've got my um, my last corner which I honestly wish that these journaling kits were three sheets with extra corners um, It's not going to work. Okay. So I think I'm going to put it on this side. a little bit longer one on the bottom there and maybe a little bit there do that and this one I'll have to put over here um, I'm just ripping like a half off of this washi do that add some florals that. and I think I'm going to boot do my this and that or odds and ends or whatever that little title is that I use up here uh, let me grab it What did I do with that? Odds and ends. There it is. I like that. Odds and ends. Okay, and we're going to do that. Okay, we're gonna add some more here. Um, I'm gonna put the 
this here, and then I'm going to put the other half on the other page. It's time to clean these scissors, all the gummy stuff off of them. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. It is super cute, you guys. This is a little bit... Okay, I like it. I like it. Let's back up. Let's see. Um, actually, I'm at a place now where I can pop it back into my TN. And I did start setting up, which I did not film, um, my journal book that I had mentioned to you guys. I had I had two lined notebooks, um, B6 Slim from Planner Perfect. Um, so this is the one that I started um, setting up for my journal. I've already used some pages, um, but I did tip in this pretty um, vellum. And I went ahead and used some more stickers from the um, Southern Bell plans that I was using for this week's planner pages. And then I kind of moved into these other um, stickers and ephemera that I have from Amazon. And I'll show you um, what they came in. So I bought two packs and it came in this bag. So it's K-N-A-I-D, 200 pieces, vintage something, craft or gift something. But it came with these two envelopes full of all kinds of um, laminated stickers, vellum stickers, die cuts, little sheets of paper, etc. And I had like just ripped the paper down, added some flower stickers, Added some washi tape. Um, it's very vintagey, very vintagey. But I, you know, I thought it was super pretty. That's as far as I got, really. So I will definitely have to decorate some more pages before I go to Michigan. So because I, I don't want to be um, having to worry about anything like that when I'm gone. But okay, back to this coming week. So this is my week on two pages. Oh, you know, I always put my um, my little Coffee Monsters Co. mood sticker there. I just have to find it. Uh, I probably don't even have one that will match the spread, but that's okay. I'm going to use it anyway. I did, I think I bought some mood text stickers. Actually, I do have one. So basically, this is a little Coffee Monsters Co. mood sticker. So I just put it at the top and I'll just put like one or two words on these lines just to indicate how my mood was that day. Because, you know, I told you this hormone replacement therapy, I think, has affected my mood. So, um, you know, as I kind of go through this, I'm just keeping track here. I mean, I'm journaling about things, but this is just a quick glimpse of, oh, yeah, how was that on Tuesday? Was that on Wednesday? I was feeling that way. Just kind of a quick look back. Um you know, so I can see where I was at. And then at the end of the week, I can look at it and go, okay, you know, it was this kind of week, it was that kind of week and so forth. So I'm looking for my dailies. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna pop this up here. It's always front and center for me every single day. So, and then I can start my, um, actually, I think I'm going to put that there. Then I can start my task list, errands, appointments over here on this side. I'll pop that there. 
I don't need a sticker to remind me, but I'm Planner Girl. I like the stickers. I love all things stickers and paper and markers and pens and all the good stuff. Anywho, okay, so just as a recap, so two week spread, two week, week on two pages, my weekly tracker, my to buy list, my morning thoughts. Generally, I'll pop in here either um, like a, a quote sticker or I'll write a Bible verse in here on this extra um, square. And then my dailies. I will add my weather on Sunday night, like I always do for my planners. I really like this. Now what I'm gonna do for these stickers is I'm gonna put them in my little binder here. And as I go through the week, I will have these on hand, all the extras um, to use throughout the week wherever I want to fill in the pages. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do with those. I really like this, you guys. <laughs> okay, so just an FYI, because I'm going to be gone, um, I don't leave until, I don't have an exact date yet, but week after next. Um, so I will be filming for next, next week, you know, for next week's setup. And then I'll probably film again to post the following week and I'm going to be filming ahead so that the week that I come home is already going to be done for me because I think I'll be coming home like in the middle of that week. Um, so I should be having my same setup videos um, scheduled for even when I'm gone because I don't want to, um, I don't want to not film and I have to, I have to set it up anyway. So unless I'm totally rushed, um, I'll definitely film that. Again, I'm going to link the things that I've used today in the description. If you have any questions on any of the items, um, let me know. If you're still here, thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you know. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I hope you will. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Talk soon. Bye.